my channel it's Ashley here and if you are new hey girl hey so I'm super excited about this video today because I'm gonna be sharing how I made over my outdoor furniture so we've had this set for about two and a half years now this is an IKEA set that we actually got off of Facebook marketplace and it was brand new but now this thing is looking really raggedy and it needs a refresh and I am so happy to be giving this thing a makeover so let's get started the first thing I did, of course, you guys always know that I clean my pieces and this really needed to be clean because first of all, it's outdoors and I had a candle on top of this table and the wax kind of messed my table up a little bit. So I'm going to be cleaning that off. Just making sure it's nice and clean for it to be prepped for me to paint this. So after that, I am coming out here and I'm about to spray my furniture. Super excited because I definitely did not want to paint this. So I have two products that I'm going to be sharing with you guys today in this video. And they were two really good buys. So this first one is this Home Right Spray Tint. And I think this tint is either like 8 foot or 9 foot. And it is amazing for spraying things with. Before we move on, I just want to talk about my sponsor for today, which is Skillshare. If you don't know what Skillshare is, it is an online learning community filled with tons of inspiring classes there are so many topics to choose from ranging from illustration graphic design production film and video you name it it is on there one of the classes that I'm currently taking is Adobe Lightroom finding your unique editing style and it is taught by Sean Dalton you guys know I have been working on like some photography stuff so this is the perfect class for that some cool things about Skillshare is that there are no ads and they're always launching new premium content so I have a new exciting offer for you guys and the first 1,000 of my subscribers to click the link in the description, you will get one month free of Skillshare. Yes, one month free of Skillshare so that you can start exploring your creativity on there today. So if you are interested in that, make sure you click on that link down below. Now let's hop back into the video. So the next thing is my True Coat 360 sprayer that I got. Super excited about this buy because I've always wanted one and it was well worth it. So it's very, very easy to use this thing. Um, once you get your paint, you know, you can strain your paint, but I literally just poured my paint in here since it was like a new can. And then after you have poured your paint into this, all you have to do is just simply twist on the bottom part and then the little top part there you like pop it open and you press the bag until there's no more air in it and then after that you are ready to prime this so you just switch it down to prime and you cut it on I'm gonna let you hear what that sounds like and then after that you switch it up to spray and you're ready to spray so I honestly think I don't know the prime and pump thing it's like sucking the paint up to the sprayer I'm not 100% sure but anyways I was just super excited hey 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 uh, because like literally this thing was like spraying like it was the bomb.com it took me no time to spray the table chairs and the ottoman pieces and I am so glad that I finally purchased this paint sprayer because it is so worth it um, so now I'm gonna put this on a quick little time lapse so you guys can see me finish um, painting the rest of the outdoor furniture. Okay, so I am done spray painting everything. So I spray painted the table, I spray painted those chairs, and then I also spray painted the little, um, I guess you would call them like ottoman pieces <laughs> but now um since one of them is definitely broken and the other one is kind of like dipping in a little bit i was gonna put cushions on top of them but then honestly i got this and then i was gonna replace them and just get like new chairs and stuff but i got this brilliant idea to turn it into like a wide seating bench <laughs> so fingers crossed that this goes well um i feel like it will um so let's go ahead and get started so i'm gonna start cutting the wood um and then i'm gonna stain it and everything and then hopefully i should be able to nail uh the wood to the top so yeah let's just see how it goes so like i said in my little insert there um i started to cut some wood so these are two by fours and i literally just marked where i needed to cut it 
brought it over to my miter saw and I cut those pieces and luckily they just fit on there perfectly. So after I was done cutting all of my pieces, the next thing I did of course was sand everything down so I rounded out my edges like I always do and then I also sanded the top smooth. After I finished sanding, I started to stain the wood so I'm staining the wood my one of my favorite wood stain colors which is golden oak. And then after I did that, I sealed this with an outdoor polyurethane. After my wood was nice and dry, the next thing I did was I placed my boards back on to the top and then after I placed them on top, I began to nail them. And adding these boards to the top is a really, really quick way to fix any broken weavings that you might have. So if you have a set like this and you know it's broken, you can turn these into two different ottomans with the tops, or you can do like the bench like I did. Or even if you have your seats, like the seats that I have on the opposite side with the arms, you can plank those as well with wood. And it's just an easy way to cover it up and change it up. So after that, I brought the furniture back outside and then I added my new rug that I got from Rugs USA out here. And then I just started to like, you know, decorate, put a little tray and stuff there. I added my pillows and things like that because I'm gonna be kind of like doing like a little mini makeover here in this area. I got me some plants, y'all. It looks so good. But anyways, that is all I did and I just love how this set turned out because now it is totally my style. And this was a really, really, really easy makeover to do, especially using that paint sprayer, which is my favorite now. Um, and if you do have a set like this, like I said, this is something that you can do to it, especially when that weaving goes down, you know, just take you some wood, plank it up, and you'll be good to go or just hide it with some cushions. But I really think that planking it up gives it a nice, unique look and I just absolutely love it. So I'm loving this area now. It looks so much better. This is so me, the colors and everything. Ugh, you guys know I love neutrals. So if you do have some messed up outdoor furniture, I hope this video gave you some inspiration. If it did, make sure you let me know down below in the comments. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you give it a big thumbs up. If you aren't subscribed to my channel, make sure you click on that subscribe button and you hit that notification bell so you'll always be up to date with my latest tutorials and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.